Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have recovered from last time. As we're gonna get into a blood bot wait, what's happened? Oh the OG theme is back! I was supposed I'm guessing only for tonight, holy shit, why is it so loud? I can barely hear myself, I can I can hardly hear Greg. Andy Carlos! Oh big super kick! And you can hear the booze echo. This one's gonna begin instantly. It's gonna be an extreme rules no DQ between these two to settle the grudge between authority and rebellion. No interferences are allowed in this match. Everyone's been barred from going to the arena. Extra security making sure nobody gets through. This is gonna this ain't gonna be a technical match like we just saw with Carl Rise and um Jackson Hart. This ain't gonna be brute force this is just gonna be two men beating the shit out of each other after about five six seven months of non-stop arguing this is gonna be just a bloodbath tokyo letting their thoughts known on andy carlos running in on that special entrance gone tomorrow the og theme of the golden and angel we have not heard that one in literal years. Lovely knee graced across the face. And Golden Wind with the hang hey, human, Golden Wind Angel cannot take too much damage with this match because he is in a 30 minute Iron Man match. Three three no three team Iron Man match may I add for the tag team championships. So if he takes so much damage here. That might affect what happens later on tonight. And that might be Andy Carlos's plan, to be fair. Unfortunately, if he does get injured, there is no replacements for him. Because Mad Dog is out of the building tonight. He did not make it in. He missed his flight, according to reports and stuff. Lovely me. By Andy Carlos, straight into the cover. Look out. Of course, Ryan Stevenson, still our referee, did a lovely job with the Ironman match just previously. Andy Carlos now with strike shot to the head. Oh, and there's a bit of blood already. This is what I'm on about. There's going to be blood all around the ring tonight. This isn't going to. This isn't your flippy flipsters grocery bags or whatever the fuck Ron Strowman said. This is, this is going to be just non-stop, under, fucking underhanded strikes, bare fists, clashing against each other's skin. This isn't, this isn't going to be pretty. Hell, I would be, I, I wouldn't be surprised if these two brought fucking knives to cut each other with, or guns. There is... These two have been shouting at each other for so long, beating each other up. Hayden didn't agree with Andy Carlos, just randomly coming in with no experience to run the show that he founded. Andy Carlos felt disrespected, but stayed professional, even though he attacked him right after that, and that was on the first ever episode. Said if he had, if Hayden had a problem with it, then he would have to he would have to face a mystery opponent at Golden the Bank. And he had opponents leading up to that, which I'm put, I believe he won all three of them actually, and beat the world champion, thank due to uh, Adrian Carmelo of EAW. Uh, at Golden the Bank, it came that Tyler Luffy, the new face, was the uh, was the mystery opponent who squashed the Golden Winged Angel uh, in a steel cage match, and it was just back and forth. And then wait, was that at Golden the Bank? There was another pay-per-view before that, right? Holy shit, I haven't done this in so long, I've actually forgotten the pay-per-views. Gold Rush! Did it, uh, no, that was at Gold Rush. No, was it? Yes, that was, that was at Gold Rush. That, that was at Tyler Luffy debut at the Gold Rush. Then Gold in the Bank, it was two on one. And wait a minute, what's going on here? Lovely kick around the head. There was a two-on-one handicap match, Tyler Luffy and uh, Andy Carlos against Hayden Newman, who where he would get beaten to a pulp. Um, Magic would join Hayden's side and they would start some sort of a rebellion. Eventually Tyler Arkinson would join after Hayden would steal the title. 
Tyler Arkinson would help out. And he is going to be in the tag team match tonight. And it's all just in private. You lot already know what's happened. And it's leading to here. There's a steel chair in that corner that Andy Carlos has just flew right into. And the Golden Ring Danger saying that is it for this old man. Look out. A lot of weird things happening. I thought he was going back to the UFC, but like, apparently not. And what did I tell you? Both men are cut open. Obviously, one's a lot worse than the other right now. Wait a minute. Spear! Shades of Mad Dog with this spear. Both men cut open, bleeding all over the gap. And wait a minute, a sleeper hold. Which used to be the reality hold. This is reality hold 1.0. Chill breaker to escape. The unescapable. Obviously now it's kind of like a Boston Crab kind of move. Anyway, rolled up by Andy Carlos. A strategic roll up. Almost getting him the free. Just in the arm, lovely kick. And I'm doing the exact same thing. Look how good that roll up is. That is very strategical. And Andy Carlos managed to get his shoulders up from it. The Golden Ring Angel just pacing about the ring now. Gonna look to break his legs. Holy shit. Whether or not Andy Carlos will still run EWE after season two. After all the lies we heard of him freezing people out of the company, budget cuts, cutting people's wages without them knowing, which again I'm pretty sure is illegal. Freezing people like I think he throws Justin Ford out of the company, who's luckily back. Uh, Samuel Perez, Springer, Biker. I've won. Yeah, yeah, no, Biker. And look at this, the luxury Kendo rang into the ring. Baby's favourite weapon. Sure, you're low now, Andy Carlos. Uh-oh. You're grabbing it. The Kendo stick right to the knee. And wait a minute, a bit of cover and full torture hits him. The kendo, Andy Carlos trying to get out of there, he don't like that. Oh no, he's stolen the kendo. And now hits him. Oh, you don't try and hit the king of the kendos with his kendo. And now just, oh, Andy Carlos has been brutalised. But what more can you expect from a heat of rivalry like this? This will be the closing chapters. It doesn't matter what happened with the tag match uh, later on tonight. This is what settles Rebellion versus Authority! Fall from heaven, we haven't seen that one in a good while. Into the cover on Andy Carlos, will this be here? Andy Carlos gets his shoulders up. We haven't seen that one for a while, the fall from heaven. Bringing back all the OG shit I see. The old theme song? No, well, fall from heaven isn't really OG, but still. Oh no, he's got the Kenzo, he's just broken it! Oh, that is mad disrespectful. Breaking that Kenzo, that historical Kenzo that's been with him through so many companies. The Kenzo's gone, it's broken. He's going to have to somehow get the scraps together and fix it. And considering this is 2 day, he probably magically will come out of a new Kenzo. Oh no, he's not having that now, beating the honest crap out of Andy Carlos! Kind of oh, fake shots in there. With that fake kick. Oh, Jack and Sleeper, his favourite fin uh, finishing submission move! Which he doesn't use as a finisher for whatever reason. I mean, this should be the reality hold if it's his favourite submission, but whatever. Andy Carlos drags him through. Gets out of here. Oh, there's a big knee. Oh, Midas touch. No. Andy Carlos. Uppercut into the turnbuckle. Sheesh. Big strike. Is it, to be fair, for Andy Carlos' is first ever, and I'm not sucking up to him because he's the boss and I get a pay rise, but it, to be fair, he hasn't done a hard bad goal in his first one-on-ones match. And now doing this again. The blood is shit, it's just blood all over Tokyo right now. And Andy Carlos saying, I'm gonna put an end to this parasite that's been in this company. GKO! Haven't seen that one in a while. Good night, Andy Carlos. Put it into him, put it into this brat. 
and the GKO claims another victim in that loud RP. What a win. The Golden Wind Angel putting an end to the authority. It wasn't exactly a high flying technical match. Of course, why would it be? But it was a bloodbath at its finest. Just then, nothing coming against each other. And one man comes on with the win. Because of an OG move. The Golden Wind Angel. Looking okay, so pleased with that. The evil Andy Carlos has been defeated. Oh no, not the shitty dollar. We saw this at the beginning of the season. Oh, we know that's been up his ass because he did pull it out of there. Oh no. Oh no, not in the... Oh, but, oh in the mouth. That is a gruesome sight. Make sure to like and subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss the next part of Immortal.